Motherfucker. How about that? I might keep that in the video. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Flesh. so big, you can't even see my face. Falling on the court, make them chase. Buzzy beater shot clock first place. Alright, I tripped over my tripod. It's alright. Okay, boom people, we're gonna talk about the Hammer Scorpion Strike. So, I remember bowling, what was it, the Scorpion Sting that came out? Love that ball. Um, so Scorpion Strike came out, uh, Pearl. We're gonna get a good chance to use that. Probably gonna be a good ball for when the lane's opening up a little bit, but I have thrown it some. It's got some teeth, uh, but we're gonna get a better chance to look at that. Just a reminder, we're here at Vero Bowl in Vero Beach, Florida. If you're in the area, come see Patrick. Patrick's my new pro, uh, pro shop manager. If I had the video of him already in there, I'm gonna keep introducing him. You guys are gonna get a chance to know him when you come in here. Patrick's gonna take care of you. So if you guys have any questions, reach out to us with the uh, number that I have um, on the Facebook page or uh, email, whatever you gotta do to come out with some questions. Let us know with any questions or just come in and see Patrick and we'll get you taken care of. All right, let's get this. Scorpion Strike, I about call it a hazmat. We got the Scorpion Strike going, let's take a look. Okay, get a chance to talk about the Hammer Scorpion Strike. Pearl Sim, where's my thumb? Pearl Sim. I threw the other Scorpion, really liked it. I think it was a hybrid. You guys can correct me in the comments, but I think it was a hybrid, but I knew I threw I knew I threw it. It was the Scorpion Sting, I think it was. I can't remember. But this one's the Scorpion Strike. Nice, beautiful, pearl, shiny purple color. I'm gonna try to stand. Oh, I gotta reset. Um, I'll put the, the core numbers in the, in the video right around here, but I believe, I remember right, this has got a decent amount of differential, lower RG, something on a Pearl Sim that I do use a lot. I have used this a decent amount, usually when the lanes broke down, they're hooking a little bit. Even though this thing's got some teeth for a Pearl Sim, uh, it was really good to get clean through the fronts, but then have the teeth to make the turn. See how that, when that reads the friction down lane, it just turns down but comes with the shiny compound cover. This is definitely a good piece for people with maybe high revs or people that struggle with speed, maybe they're a little slower, or maybe your center has a lot of friction. This is gonna be a really good option for you to go to. Ah, that's gonna be bad. All right, wheeled on that one. All right, so that's a bad shot, ignore that. But uh, I would say this would be a good step down from maybe the Stealth Hybrid. It's a little cleaner in the front than the Stealth Hybrid. Uh, it's a little more angular than the Stealth Hybrid. So it'd be that step down from that. Overall, hooks a hair less, not much but that's what you want when you step down, right? I'm gonna try to throw a better shot here. Uh, I got it in a board, but that might work. <laughs> so in this house, here in Vero Beach, Florida, the Vero Bowl, their house shot is a little bit wetter than a lot of places that I go to. And that's what I'm doing. I'm bowling on a fresh, I say a fresh house shot. I've got about three games on this so far. But when you're using something like this, you know, missing in is either going to be a two pin or flat 10, which I almost left there, unless you get around it. Oh, missed right aboard that time. Okay, one of these times I'll hit my target. I don't know when, but soon maybe. 
So, matter of fact, I think I'll throw a shot with the Stealth Hybrid. Maybe if you guys stop it uh, and take a good look at it when you're seeing the difference, you can see I'll be playing about the same spot on the lane, but the Stealth Hybrid will be a little smoother. Same spot here. I actually try to hit my target this time. Hey, I hit my target. Not much a difference. But when that ball starts maybe leaving tens, if you don't have the ability to get around it and make it work, or maybe you did that and it's just at the end of its rope, switch from that ball to the scorpion strike. So now that I actually hit my target once, Let's see if I can hit my target twice in a row. You guys can take bets. I don't know. The odds are probably four to one. <laughs> but we're going to give it a shot. So I should hit 18 at the arrow. That's where I just hit with the stealth. That's 18 at the arrows. See how that's a little longer? A little bit longer than the stealth hybrid. Now, when they open up a little bit more than they are right now, that ball won't hesitate down there like it just did there in comparison to the Stealth Hybrid. It's going to read the friction because there's going to be more friction. It's going to pop off there and go through the pins. I know because I've done that with that ball several times, and that's whenever it really comes into play for me. A lot of revs. You're young. You got a lot of revs, a lot of speed. You got to bowl in a place with a lot of friction. This ball ought to be a monster for you. All right, a couple more shots. Ah, missed right again. And that's a 10 pin. Like an automatic 10 pin. All right, so I'm gonna throw my last shot to win the match. Strike I win. Nine I tie. Eight, I'm a dummy. Let's give it a shot. Seems like lately I've been losing a lot. Got to change that. All right, 18 at the arrows. I'm gonna get around this one a little bit more, hopefully. All right. That's pretty good. Hey, I'm a winner today. All right, that's all I have about the hammer scorpion strike. Make sure I say that right. 